Blues hockey gets my heart pumping, and I'm sitting on my couch. Ever wonder why your heart pumps harder when you exercise and how your body responds? Let's ask a sports cardiologist. We need oxygen in our blood because that is the currency that our muscles and our organs all use to get energy. And that energy is then used to power all the things that our cells and our bodies can do. I work out, but I'm no elite athlete like our blues players. Does my heart look different from theirs? Yeah, it really does. So the heart gets conditioned for endurance. Exercise-induced cardiac remodeling is a pattern we see in our athletes who are very active and who have been training for years and years. For athletes who do more endurance activity, they need a higher cardiac output every time they're exercising. So in order to accommodate that, their heart size gets bigger. Those athletes that do more strength and need more power, their heart muscle actually gets thicker to accommodate an increasing need to push against more resistance. The heart's able to pump out more blood and increase the stroke volume. What's stroke volume? The stroke volume is the amount of blood that's pumped out every heartbeat. When our athletes are on the ice, their stroke volume increases even more, and as their heart rate also increases, the amount of blood that's pumped out to their muscles is exponentially higher. So how much blood is pumping through our bodies? Is that our cardiac output? And so we think of cardiac output being made up of the heart rate and our stroke volume, which is how much blood is pumped out every beat. At rest, most of us will have a cardiac output of four to six liters. During activity, during exercise, our players will have a cardiac output of four to six times this as they complete their shifts. Increased cardiac output doesn't actually mean we have more blood, does it? Our body is using the same amount of blood, but pumping it faster and harder so more oxygen can get delivered every time we're out on the ice. We can feel our heart speeding faster, but is our body responding in other ways to help move more oxygen? When a player is skating hard and needs more energy, their muscles release hormones that make the blood vessels dilate or expand. Like using a bigger pipe, this reduces the resistance that the heart has to pump against, making the heart more efficient. Next, his heart rate increases. Remember, at baseline, the athlete's heart is remodeled so it's bigger and stronger. And now, when the body needs more energy, it pumps both faster and harder. This increased cardiac output pushes more oxygen to the working muscles. Once oxygen-rich blood arrives at the muscle, the oxygen needs to get out of the blood and into the cell. Think of the mitochondria as workers that help unload oxygen from the blood and then create energy. Athletes have more of these workers so they can unload oxygen and create energy faster than we can. It's a complex and amazing interaction that occurs instantly without any of us even being aware of it. Fascinating. Cardiologists can actually measure the efficiency of our entire cardiovascular system to see how effectively oxygen is being delivered and put to work. Yeah, one of my favorite things about being a sports cardiologist is the measurement of our VO2 max, which is a measure of our cardiopulmonary fitness. During a cardiopulmonary stress test, we're doing a breath-by-breath -breath analysis to measure the oxygen and carbon dioxide and we use this information in addition to our heart rate and other cardiac parameters to help determine what our VO2 max is, our anaerobic threshold, and our aerobic threshold as we use all these parameters to help determine a person's cardiopulmonary fitness. So what's VO2 max? Sounds like a sports drink to me. VO2 max is the maximum amount of oxygen consumption that someone can use at their peak level of exertion. So this is a comparison that we use to help us determine what our overall cardiopulmonary fitness is. We all need to listen to our bodies when we exercise. And speaking of exercise, what's the best exercise for our hearts? So all exercise is great exercise. We think of aerobic exercise as having direct benefits for the heart as it helps improve the heart function. Strength training has indirect benefits for the heart as the overall increase in muscle mass that we get allows the heart to eventually function more effectively. Well, I think we got to the heart of what makes our blues players so amazing. And that's the science of St. Louis Blues Hockey. Check out our other episodes and learn more about the science of St. Louis Blues Hockey. 
Go to barnesjewish.org slash science of blues hockey.